Let's go back out to Spencer at Union with the Tulsa World's Barry Lewis to break down tonight's action. Yeah, that's right. As promised, we got Barry Lewis, the high school sports editor over at Tulsa World, and so many great games going on tonight. Let's start, obviously, with the big one right here, the game of the week. A lot of takeaways. It felt like it was anyone's ball game, even at half. Second half, Jinx gets an opportunity, and then all the momentum swings in favor of the Red Hawks. What is your big takeaway from tonight? Union just looks so impressive in all phases. Yes, Union, it took them a little while to get going tonight, but when they got going, they got they really got rolling. Shaker Reisig had a really big night. Grayson Tempest um, did as well. And then, of course, Devin Robinson on defense, the TU commit, was all over the place, blocking a field goal, two interceptions, a pick six. He was a dominant player on that side of the ball. And, of course, D.J. McKinney racked up his usual 200 total yards as a rusher receiver. So, Union, it was, it was just a complete effort in all phases. Yeah, it's not often you see one player on defense dominate a game, but Robinson definitely did that tonight. Another team had a very big night would be Owasso. You look at a wild finish we showed it to you a second ago, Wasso and Broken Arrow. Huge win for them to get that done. Yes, I mean, it, there's a big difference. Even though the games don't officially count when it comes to playoff time in the race for the playoffs, I think it's a huge uh, confidence boost to be going in to the district race at 1-2 and two and coming off a victory as opposed to being 0-3. Oh so, big win for Owasso tonight. Goodness knows they've had so much adversity in these first three yeah. weeks of the season. So, what a win it was for the Rams. Yeah, they looked impressive and also a very impressive win tonight from Joyce. They play Beggs and they put up a huge number against those guys. Well, Beggs put up a huge number against Rejoice last year, scoring in the 70s, so Rejoice returned the favor. <laughs> Chance Wilson, he's just had an unbelievable start to the season. That's why he's number one in our all-world rankings, and uh, Rejoice looks like a state title contender. Yeah, they're definitely going to have an opportunity to make a run of that. Now, if you missed any of the games, be sure to check out Tulsa World tomorrow morning. They'll have a recap of all of the action, a lot of games. Barry, appreciate you as always for joining us. And let's send things back on over to the studio to you, Nathan.